The Shattered Throne is a dungeon in Destiny 2. This complete guide moves very fast. Use screenshots, chapters, and playback speed to make it work for you. Get three fire team members with the Forsaken Pack DLC. There are no persistent mechanics, but there is a lot of platforming, so build your guardians for a lot of jumping. Proceed across the dark floating platforms to reach the first encounter, Erebus. To prepare, review the map. Tune loadouts for ad clear. Kill the yellow bar labyrinth architect to begin. Killing the architect will drop a floating glyph. Proceed to the area on the map that matches that glyph. The right location will be full of ads and another yellow bar architect. Kill it to drop another glyph. Repeat this process until the final location, marked by a falling bird, is cleared. The descent is a series of halls before the next encounter. Jump down, kill ads, climb the stairs. At the top, kill the yellow bar taken captain to open the door. Cross the broken bridge by killing snipers and using the side ledges. Don't underestimate the damage these enemies can put out. Climb the left side stairs at the end to proceed. Second, cross the grid of structural beams to the far side of the room. Taken ogres should be killed immediately. Their ranged attacks can knock you off the beams. Taken blights with moving pieces will do the same. Third is the shadow hall. Jump and sprint are Disabled. Adjust loadouts for ad clear to manage the non-stop shadow thralls. Go forward, left, right, right, left, left, then jump down over the ledge. Finally, cross the gap and hug the left side ledges, clear the phalanxes, and enter the building. Vorgeth is the second encounter. To prepare, tune loadouts for high DPS. Fast close range weapons help with adds and axion darts. The encounter has already begun. There are four Keeper of Petitions wizards, one on each side of this large square room. Wizards drop a petitioner's marked debuff on death. Pick it up. All players receive one stack of the debuff. At four stacks, the debuff changes to the petitioner's burden. Dunk the burden in one of the four platforms near the boss to begin the damage phase. Damage Vorgeth until the phase ends. Repeat the process until Vorgeth is dead. How to fail. The petitioner's mark debuff has a 45 second timer that resets each time a stack is picked up. If the timer runs out, all players will die. Climb the gravity lifts and broken platforms. After several minutes of dodging ads and yeets, you'll reach the final encounter, Dulin Karu. To prepare, two loadouts for melee damage resistance and high DPS. Review the small room's layout. There is very little cover. The boss is on the far platform. There are three fate smith knights in the middle. Disturb the enemies to begin. Kill the ads that spawn on the left and right side. Kill a knight to drop the finite thought buff. This this buff allows you to damage the boss and stacks up to three. Kill all three knights and pick up three stacks of the finite thought to deal maximum damage. Damage the boss until the buff timer is very low. Jump on the glowing platform in the center to remove the buff before its timer expires. Repeat this process until Dulin Karu is dead. How to fail. The finite thought buff timer kills players at zero. Unlike the Vorgeth encounter, the buff is not shared and its timer does not reset when stacked. Removing the finite thought buff ends the damage phase. Only do so if the timer is very low. Knights deal heavy close range damage, don't get swarmed. After around a minute, a massive of crystal spawns behind the boss making the knights immune. Destroy this crystal to remove the effect. That's your quick guide to the Shattered Throne dungeon in Destiny 2. The strategies in this guide can be adjusted for two players or even one. If these fast endgame guides are helpful, spread the word. I have full guides for raids, dungeons, and Grandmaster Nightfall Strikes all complete in under five minutes. We'll see you next time. Get raiding, Guardians.